Bible students. We have already discussed some important concepts about the last lesson story. I hope you all are safe and healthy at your home. Uh, today we will start uh, next plot development of the story, second part of the video. In that, I will discuss the uh, remaining uh, part of the story. Page number 7. In that, we have discussed about uh, one important concept that is when we are in the slavery or when we are not in the freedom, that time our own language uh, always helps us or we would be united if we are taking care of our own language. So this is very important thing. Uh, earlier uh, passage it is, I will refer that line. When people are enslaved, as long as they hold fast their language, it is as if they had the key to their prison. And uh, it is the key to their prison, means here, indirectly here we can say that we can get uh, all the things when we are reunited and that is the key you know, we can come out from the slavery and all the good things will happen when uh, we are uh, together when we are enjoying our own freedom but when it is possible uh, when we all are together and we are thinking we are taking care of our culture we are taking care of our own language and we have that uh, proud about our own language then only there will not be any problem to our nation also that patriotism everything it is in the part of the language because language is the soul or we can say the language of soul is our mother tongue so we have to uh, keep the same thing or the legacy of uh, so many traditions, folk songs, uh, so many things, it is included in that. So, here author is also stating about that. Then we will continue next. Then he opened a grammar and read us our lesson. I was amazed to see how well I understood it. And now here, suppose you are paying attention properly, then you will understand everything. If your approach is uh, not good, if you are not sincerely uh, doing that task, or you are not listening carefully, then what will happen? You will not understand. Now everyone was everyone here we can observe that they were listening very carefully. So this aspect here we can notice for the student student's approach also it is very important when you are doing something with great intensity proper attention proper attitude then you will surely understand that because your sincere efforts will uh, also reflect so here uh, france is stating this important thing and it is important for the student i was amazed to see how well i understood it all he said seemed so easy, so easy. So here, whatever he used to tell, that was easy. And in the beginning here, Franz was very afraid that uh, M. Hamel, means the teacher, French teacher, he was going to ask about the participles and he don't know anything about it. And that participle, it is a part of grammar. But now whatever here M. Hamel, he was teaching everything here, Franz is writing, it was easy, easy. So here, yeah, so easy. I think too that I had never listened so carefully. And here, uh, Franz is also stating that um, Sir might have uh, the same approach towards the teaching, but uh, I had not listened that uh, thing earlier with uh, great attention. So here, I had never listened so carefully. So here he was setting and that he had never explained everything with so much patience. And here now 
M. Hammer, he was also uh, explaining with the patients. That is also an important view that teacher's attitude towards uh, teaching it is also equally important. So, indirectly, here you know, students' attitude and teacher's attitude, teacher's approach towards teaching, uh, teachers and uh, students, both their attitude, their approach towards teaching and learning process. If it is good, then there will not be problem. So, like that, here indirectly, author is commenting on the both process. Everything uh, with so much patience. It seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all he knew before going away and to put it all uh, into our heads at one stroke. And here, it, this was the last lesson of M. Hamel. So, whatever uh, the good things it was with him, now uh, M. Hammond started sharing all that at one stroke, at one time, in that one lecture. This is also important thing. Why he said the poor? Poor because uh, here M. Hammond will not have uh, one more opportunity to discuss with the student. So, in that aspect here, uh, Franz is stating that uh, here poor man to the M. Hammond. Then after the grammar, we had a lesson in writing. That day, M. Hamel had a new copies for us, written in beautiful round hand, France Alsace, France Alsace. They look like little flags floating everywhere in the school room, hung from the road at the top of our desk. You ought to have seen how many here, uh, how everyone said to work and how quiet it was. The only sound was scratching of pens over the paper. So here, uh, in this line means the only sound was scratching of pens over the paper. Means everyone, villagers were also there. Everyone they were uh, taking care that uh, everyone they were listening uh, with very patiently, passionately and with respect. So here, the only sound was the scratching of the pens over the paper. And one more new thing here, we can notice, once some beetles flew in, so here large size insects, beetles flew in, but nobody paid attention to them. When you are focused, when you are, your intensity to learn something, then you will not understand what is going outside. You can observe the same thing when you are uh, listening something with great intensity, when you are watching TV uh, and your favorite uh, movie or something, you will not understand what is happening outside. Or when you are writing your exam paper, that time also, you will not understand what is going on outside. Means that attention, when your attention span is proper, then your focus would be there. So everyone's focus was what uh, was the M. Hamel, whatever the M. Hamel was speaking. So here, uh, this aspect we can notice. But nobody had paid attention to them, not even the littlest ones uh, who work right on dressing their fish hooks. So here, scratching with uh, their clothes. Here, fish hooks means uh, clothes. And here, uh, even the littlest ones, here it is about the pigeons. Afterwards, again, uh, reference it is given who work right on pressing their fish hooks as if um, that was French too. On the, on the roof, the pigeons put it very low. So here, uh, put it, that is the sound of uh, the pigeons here. Pigeon sound, the sound made by the pigeons, and that is very low. And I thought to myself, and as a small boy, he started thinking about the um, pigeons also. Will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? Now, pigeons, here the small boy, he was thinking that now they are the pigeons, they are in the um, here, France. and. They might be putting or they are also making the sound in the French language. 
but when german language uh, will be implemented means from next day uh, will it be also forceful for the pigeon also we can understand here a uh, small child he was thinking about that now it is not allowed to uh, write also it is not allowed to speak also in french language so here we can understand that the small boys uh, psychology we can understand uh, small boys have started thinking about that it may be um, also uh, kind of thing that the pigeon like birds also they will also uh, think about the same language and in afterwards they will also use the same language in singing so here will they make them sing in german even the pigeons and will it be also the same force or the same harassment uh, to the birds also and even the pigeons means uh, human being we are we will follow because it is the order and when everywhere uh, pigeons will listen only german language then slowly slowly pigeons will also uh, sing in or the, they will also put in the german language then uh, whenever i looked up from my writing i saw an animal sitting motionless in his chair and gazing first at one thing then at another as if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked in that little school room and here uh, m hamel was very nervous motionless here and m hamel was observing everything in that classroom because now uh, that was the last lesson and the memories last 40 years all that memories was there in that room and we can understand uh, the same thing that suppose you are in old house or your means um, village house so whenever you will go all that memories your child or suppose your child who age if you have spent in the village then all that memories you could uh, think about that or your uh, school also your first school means primary school or secondary school higher secondary school or when you will go uh, to higher education then when you will come back all that memories you would go to the same class and you will tell your friends that this is my class and all that memories again it will regenerate and you will start sharing about that so here also same thing we can observe that if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked in that little school room fancy for 40 years he had been there in the same place with his garden outside the window and his class in front of him just like that only the uh, desk benches had been worn smooth the walnut trees in the garden uh, were taller so here near by that garden was there and in that walnut trees were there and uh, hopwin that had planted in himself uh, twin twin means twisted about the windows to the roof and here uh, hopwin also that plant uh, we can observe if you will see the image and it is spread to uh, the windows also how how it must have broken his heart to leave it all and to leave that classroom to leave all the students their attachment with the students attachment with the uh, french language attachment with the villagers uh, so many things now here how it must have broken his heart to leave it all poor man and for that sake here again he is using the word because of that he is a poor man to hear his sister moving about the room uh, room of packing their trunks so here uh, simultaneously his sister uh, she was packing in that trunks of the bags and stuff of things here um, voice was there um, packing their trunks for they must leave the country next day 
and here the word is used must because it was the order. So they have to leave the place. So we can understand the uh, here there is no any choice to the M hammer to do something. So it was order and they have to leave that place next day. But he had the courage to hear uh, every lesson to the very last. After the writing, uh, after the writing, we had lesson in history. Then, uh, then we chanted the ba be bi bo bu. So here, uh, lesson in the history or uh, phonetics. Here we can say that children uh, uh, started pronouncing the phonics or the phonetics, the sounds in the French language. Uh, down there at the back of the room, old house had put on his spectacles and holding uh, his primary in both hands, spelled the letter with them. You could see that he too was crying. And here, old house, he was also crying because he listened that speech. And uh, there was now the separation. And he means here, villagers will not be able to learn their own mother tongue, that is French language. And so here we can understand that. Uh, here some examples as a representative of the villagers in that old house. He was also emotional. Uh, you could see that he too was crying. His voice trembled with emotion. And it was so funny to hear him that we all wanted to laugh and cry. A, hey, how well I remember it that last lesson. So here, laugh and cry in such situation uh, when it is created. Uh, one thing is they are fortunate that they are there to listen that last lesson. But the same thing that from next day they will not be able to learn the language. They will not be able to get the lectures of M. Hamel. So here, a situation it is like a laugh and cry in that uh, sense we can and how well I remember that last lesson. And if that was the last lesson, but impact was more because uh, I have listened first time uh, such type of speech um, with great intensity, with uh, careful manner. All at once the church clock struck 12. So here, then the Angelus. So here, we can observe that Angelus is a, a prayer song in the church. Especially here, it is starting with a ringing the bell. Then uh, here, then the Angelus at the same moment means uh, 12 o'clock that prayer and the song, uh, everything here you can understand uh, that the French, uh, Alsace and Lawrence in that uh, area, most of the communities, uh, they are in the um, religion, it's the Christian religion. And so here church uh, clock struck 12 and then the angelus at the same moment trumpets, the musical instrument here uh, trumpets means the musical the trumpets of the Prussians returning from dream. So in the beginning it was said, uh, it was uh, given that there was a ringing of Prussian soldiers and they were returning from the dream. Some dead under our windows M. Hamel stood up. He, M. Hamel was sitting, now he stood up when he listened that musical instrument and the ringing of Prussian soldiers, everything. Uh, the, M. Hamel stood up very well in his chair. I never saw him mm, look so tall. And here he was uh, stating that I have never observed because uh, he was sitting on that chair and suddenly he stood up. But uh, motionless this type of person, if there is no motion, something, mm, he was too much nervous, pale face. There was no charm on his face. So like that here, the person and never saw him look so tall and because of that here when somebody is just standing with no any motion and too much nervous mood then we can 
observe or we can say that looks so tall. And then M. Hammond started speaking. My friends said he, I, I, but something choked him. I could not go on. So here, uh, my friends, he said, I, I, but something choked him and he could not go on. So here, uh, he was not able to speak like that here, a message we can understand, he could not go on. Then he turned to the um, blackboard took a piece of chalk and bearing on with all his might, uh, he wrote as large as he could we will our France. So here, uh, he was not able to speak. So something he would do because his face was pain, he was too much nervous. So uh, he had written with very bold size on the blackboard and what was the message and that message was Vive la France. Vive la France means long live France. Then he stopped and leaned his head against the wall. Means he had, uh, with respect, he leaned his head. Mm, he made a gesture to us with his hand. School is dismissed, you may go. He was unable to speak because here we can observe that this, uh, something choked. And means his voice also choked, he was unable to see because of the emotions, emotions will when you are not, when you are emotional, you will not be able to speak. So here, uh, this type of thing we can observe. So here, uh, at the end, the impact it is, and uh, handle, he was too much emotional and he was not able, but Finally, he had given the message and that message is important. Vive la France and that is long live France. Uh, means when you will preserve your language, your mother tongue, that is French language, you will definitely come out from that. And that was the final message. Means you love your language. So here, you know, long live France. Indirectly, that message, very important message, it was given by the so here you know, we have discussed uh, all the things. And then we will discuss some questions in that think as you read questions. You know, page number seven. What was France expected to be prepared with for school that day? So here uh, answer is simple that is uh, participles in the French language. Then what did France notice that was unusual about the school that day? So here every time there was a uh, bustle, bustle and bustle uh, in that uh, school, especially children, uh, some children they would be out, they may not sit in the class and villages especially. Means there was a silence like a Sunday. Then what was the new thing? Here, in the costume of the M. Hamel, it was also special. He used to wear that in special uh, days or the weekend inspection or such type of days he used to wear. Villagers, they were also, in the back benches also, it was filled with the villagers and everyone they were uh, sitting very quiet. So here we can observe that unusual thing that you can explain with more examples. What had been put up on the bulletin board and what was the uh, put up on the bulletin board? That was the order and what was that order? It was clearly uh, mentioned that um, the order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine and the new master comes tomorrow. This is your last translation. Through this, uh, we can understand that what was the order written on that bulletin board. <coughs> Here, uh, page number 7, 4. Understanding that, uh, yes, page number 8, 
he has you read questions in that what changes did the order from Berlin cause in school that day so here what was the change uh, here change was the villagers were there every means all the students they were inside then third thing we can hear uh, is that is everyone uh, they were listening very carefully and some representatives here uh, former mayor uh, former postmaster old house uh, and other also villagers were there uh, that was the change we can observe that everyone uh, they were there for uh, two reasons especially the villagers that they have not paid attention to the uh, education especially so they were there to respect um, one thing that is the M handles uh, 40 years uh, faithful uh, service also and the second thing that uh, their respect for the uh, country also so here uh, two three things we can observe that everyone they were uh, involved and they were thinking about their own language and how to guard, safeguard their own language. They were, it means there was intensity in everyone that was also here focused. Then, second question How did uh, France feeling about M. Hamel and school change? So, here about M. Hamel, first we will discuss. Uh, he was thinking about M. Hamel that he was very strict teacher uh, and he used to uh, miss punish. So like that here, that image it was there in the mind of uh, France. But when last day, his last lesson, he was uh, explaining that M. Hamel, whatever he was teaching, um, it was so easy to understand. And M. Hamel was teaching with too much passion also. So means here uh, we can understand that when you will observe that your <coughs> teacher, uh, they are uh, teaching you uh, so many things. But when the stage will come, especially the retirement stage, or uh, sometimes you can observe that due to some reasons, uh, teacher has to leave the school. That time, uh, that function. Especially we are uh, every time experiencing 10th and 12th standard uh, students, uh, their best wishes programs or send of uh, ceremony. That time uh, students they are sharing so many things and then we also sometimes realize that so many things they are uh, thinking about us and we have uh, sometimes we may not observe that aspect of our own personality but most of the time they are also observing a uh, different approach and that approach it is understanding and so many things we can understand so here uh, Franz was also uh, thinking about the same and he was thinking I have not learned so many things uh, so I, I have I, what is the now situation and that or whatever the uh, thing here he was uh, replied that what a thunderclap is words were to me so like that when we are observing, uh, then next step and uh, hear about M. Hamel and school. So and about the school, here he was thinking about the school, school atmosphere uh, and especially the uh, sincerity. So here uh, he was started thinking about the own also uh, thinking means he was not sincere. So here, uh, some references uh, I will give for that. Here he was mentioning that uh, I was uh, for not learning. Means here, how sorry I was for not learning my lessons, for seeking bird eggs and going and sliding on the star. So here, uh, he was also referring that, and he was also himself uh, in one way that he was also blaming that I have also not paid attention uh, so here the atmosphere also changed he was also thinking in that manner then uh, 
understanding the text. In that, the people in this story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them. What shows you this? Uh, why does this happen? So here, uh, when you will understand that your own language, it will be taken away. Suppose you think example of our own Marathi language. If somebody would come and they would say that your language would be banned from tomorrow. So then everybody will come together, everybody will uh, think that no, we have to protest, we have to safeguard our language and then language teachers, so everyone, they will be united. It's villagers, students, all politicians, everyone, they will be together. And that is the thing here. Yeah? The people uh, in the story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them. What shows you this? Uh, why does this happen? And what shows you that they were not that much sincere about their own language. So this is, means they used to send their children for the uh, work, means like a child labor, a farm or some factories to earn something. Means for the uh, survival, they used to think about only for the survival. But there was uh, no <coughs> more attention or the proper approach or attitude towards the education. So here it was also uh, clearly mentioned in page number 5 that why the old men in the village were sitting there in the back of the room. It was because they were sorry too that they had not gone to the school more. So here uh, this reference also we can give and why does this happen? And why does this happen means when all that means when you are free to uh, write, you are free to speak your own language. But when somebody would ban that, then only you will realize the importance of your own language and how precious your own language. Because language it is not only the thing, that language is the culture. Language is your identity, language is your hallmark, language is your image, language is the legacy. Language is also the part of the tradition. Uh, so many ethics, culture, everything it is involved in the language and language is that the backbone of everything. So here, uh, when somebody would take out that right to speak, right to uh, write or means freedom of expression, when it will be taken away, suddenly you will realize that the importance of your own language. So you can add your own quotes. So France thinks, uh, will will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? What could this mean? So here, uh, you can think that one thing here uh, means linguistic journalism. Linguistic journalism in a sense that uh, students, when you are imposing something on other, then your ideas, your own thing. So here also linguistic means language. German, German language will be imposed on the Frenchman. So their French language it will be taken away. Okay? They will not be able to speak, they will not be able to write their own language in their own country. And they have to pretend to be like a Frenchman. So here the small boy started thinking about the pigeon also. From next day, pigeons will also not be able to listen French language. So will they go, or will they see also in the German? So like that here, would it be also pressurized? They would also impose. So like that, there was an impact on the mind of a little child. You can interpret in different ways here. There could be more than one answer it is stated. Then talking about the text in that when a people are enslaved, as long as they hold fast to their language, uh, it is as if they had the key to their prison. We have already discussed the question, but then also I will mean, hear uh, unity is important, and that when you are thinking about your own language with proper way, then when you will be united, when you are together. Unity in diversity, so many different different uh, 
caste, creed, gender, religion, so many people would be there. But if they would be together with the language, then what will happen? That their one only agenda there will be in their mind, that is to save their nation, to save their own language means to save their nation because all traditions, uh, their rituals, festivals, literature, so many things it is involved in the language and it is not only one year, two year, it is the legacy of so many years, generation by generation, their forefathers, parents, everyone, uh, they have also experienced and enjoyed uh, speaking their own language and the freedom of language, so many things. So here, yeah, when they will come together using that key, key is the language, when they will preserve their own language, then when they will safeguard their own language, then only it is possible that they can fight against the enemy and then they will come out from that and that would be the key to come out from the prison. So in that way here, uh, it is expressed. Uh, then other uh, some questions are there in that linguistic chauvinism uh, just now I have explained chauvinism means to input in linguistic chauvinism uh, that is to uh, impose our own language on others so here Observe that there were uh, 
listening very carefully so this aspect here we can notice for the student a student's approach also it is very important when you are doing something with great intensity proper attention proper attitude then you will surely understand that because your sincere efforts will uh, also reflect so here uh, franz is stating this important thing and it is important for the student i was amazed to see how well i understood it all he said seemed so easy so easy so here whatever he used to tell that was easy and in the beginning here franz was very afraid that uh, m hamel means the teacher french teacher he was going to ask about the participles and he don't know anything about and that participle it is a part of grammar but now whatever here m hamel he was teaching everything here franz is stating it was easy easy so here so easy i think too that i had never listened so carefully and here uh, franz is also stating that mm, sir might have uh, the same approach towards the teaching but uh, i had not listened that uh, thing earlier with uh, great attention so here i had never listened so carefully so here he was stating and that he had never explained everything with so much patience and here now m hamel he was also Uh, explaining with the patience that is also important we the teachers attitude towards uh, teaching it is also equally important so indirectly here you know, students attitude and teachers attitude teachers approach towards teaching uh, teachers and uh, students both their attitude their approach towards teaching and learning process if it is good then there will not be problem so like that here indirectly author is commenting on the both process everything uh, with so much patience it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give us all he knew before going away and to put it all uh, into our heads at one stroke and here it, this was the last lesson of m hamel so whatever uh, the good things it was with him now uh, m hamel started sharing all that at one stroke at one time in that one lecture so this is also important thing why he said the poor poor because uh, here m hamel will not have uh, one more opportunity to discuss with the student so in that aspect here uh, franz is stating that uh, here poor man to the m hamel and then after the grammar we had a lesson in writing that day m hamel had a new copies for us written in beautiful round hand franz alsace franz alsace they look like little flags floating everywhere in the um, school room hung from the uh, road at the top of our desk you ought to have seen how many here uh, how everyone said to work and how quiet it was the only sound was scratching of pens over the paper so here uh, in this line means the only sound was scratching of pens over the paper means everyone villagers were also there everyone they were uh, taking care that uh, everyone they were listening uh, with very patiently passionately and with respect so here the only sound was the scratching of the pens over the paper and one more new thing here we can notice once some beetles flew in so here large size insects beetles flew in but nobody paid attention to them when you are focused when you are your intensity to learn something then you will not understand what is going outside you can observe the same thing when you are uh, listening something with great intensity when you are watching tv 
Yeah, and your favorite uh, movie or something, you will not understand what is happening outside. Or when you are writing your exam paper, that time also, you will not understand what is going on outside. Means that attention, when your attention span is proper, then your focus would be there. So everyone's focus was what uh, was the M. Hamel, whatever the M. Hamel was speaking. So here, uh, this aspect we can notice. But nobody had paid attention to them, not even the littlest ones uh, who work right on dressing their fish hooks. So here scratching with uh, their clothes, here fish hooks means uh, clothes and here uh, even the littlest ones, here it is about the pigeons, afterwards again reference it is given who worked right on pressing their fish hooks as if mm, that was French too on the on the roof the pigeons put it very low so here uh, put it that is a sound of uh, the pigeons here pigeon sound <coughs> so the sound made by the pigeons and that is very low and I thought to myself and as a small boy he started thinking about the um, pigeons also. Will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? Now pigeons, here the small boy, he was thinking that now they are, the pigeons, they are in the, um, here France and they might be putting or they are also making the sound in the French language. But when German language uh, will be implemented means from next day uh, will it be also forceful for the pigeon also we can understand here a uh, small child he was thinking about that now it is not allowed to uh, write also it is not allowed to speak also in french language so here we can understand it's a small boys uh, psychology we can understand uh, small boys started thinking about that it may be um, also a uh, kind of thing that the pigeon like birds also they will also uh, think about the same language and in afterwards they will also use the same language in singing so here will they make them sing in german even the pigeons and will it be also the same force or the same harassment uh, to the birds also and even the pigeons means uh, human being we are we will follow because it is the order and when everywhere uh, pigeons will listen only german language then slowly slowly pigeons will also uh, sing in or the, they will also put in the german language then uh, whenever i looked up from my writing, I saw M. Hamel sitting motionless in his chair and gazing first at one thing, then at another, as if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked in that little schoolroom. And here, uh, M. Hamel was very nervous, motionless here, and M. Hamel was observing everything in that classroom because now uh, that was the last lesson and the memories, last 40 years all that memories was there in that room and we can understand uh, the same thing that suppose your mm, old house or your mm, means village house, so whenever you will go all that memories, your childhood, suppose your childhood age if you have spent in the village then all that memories you could uh, think about that or your uh, school also your first school means primary school or secondary school higher secondary school or when you will go uh, to higher education then when you will come back all that memories you would go to the same class and you will tell your friends that this is my class and all that memories again it will regenerate and you will start sharing about that. So here also same thing we can observe that if he wanted to fix in his mind just how everything looked 
in that little school room fancy for 40 years he had been there in the same place with his garden outside the window and his class in front of him just like that only the uh, desk benches had been old smooth the walnut trees in the garden uh, were taller so here nearby that garden was there and in that walnut trees were there and uh, hopwin that had planted in himself uh, twin twin means twisted about the windows to the roof and here uh, hopwin also that plan uh, we can observe um, if you will see the image and it is spread uh, to the windows also how how it must have broken his heart to leave it all and to leave that classroom to leave all the students their attachment with the students attachment with the uh, french language attachment with the villagers uh, so many things now here how it must have broken his heart to leave it all poor man and for that sake here again he is using the word because of that he is a poor man to hear his sister moving about the room uh, room about packing their trunks so here uh, simultaneously your sister uh, she was packing and that trunks of the bags of stuff of things here um, voice was there um, packing their trunks for they must leave the country next day and here the word is used must because it was the order so they have to leave the place so we can understand the uh, here there is no any choice to the m hammer to do something so it was order and they have to leave that place next day but he had the courage to hear uh, every lesson to the very last mm, after the writing uh, after the writing we had lesson in history then uh, baby chanted them ba be bi bo bu so here uh, lesson in the history or uh, phonetics here we can say that children uh, uh, they started pronouncing the phonemes or the phonetics the sounds in the french language Uh, down there at the back of the room, old house had put on his spectacles and holding uh, his primer in both hands, spelled the letter with them. You could see that he too was crying. And here, old house, he was also crying because he listened that speech. And uh, there was now the separation. And he means here, villagers will not be able to learn their own mother tongue that is french language and so here we can understand that uh, here some examples as a representative of the villagers in that old house as he was also emotional uh, you could see that he too was crying his voice trembled with emotion and it was so funny to hear him that we all wanted to laugh and cry a how well i remember it in that last lesson so here laugh and cry in such situation uh, when it is created uh, one thing is they are fortunate that they are there to listen that last lesson but the same thing that from next day they will not be able to learn a language they will not be able to get the lectures of m hamel so here uh, situation it is like a laugh and cry in that uh, sense we can and how well i remember that last lesson and it, that was the last lesson but impact was more because uh, i have listened first time uh, such type of speech um, with great intensity with uh, careful manner all at once the, the church clock struck 12 so here they on the angelus so here um, we can observe that angelus is a, a prayer song in the church especially here it is uh, starting with the uh, ringing the bell 
then uh, here then the angelus at the same moment means uh, 12 o'clock that prayer and the song uh, everything here we can understand uh, that the french uh, alsace and lorraine in that uh, area most of the communities uh, they are in the um, religion means the christian religion so here church uh, clock struck 12 and then the angelus at the same moment trumpets the musical instrument here uh, trumpets means the musical the trumpets of the prussians returning from dream so in the beginning it was uh, it was uh, given that there was a dreaming of prussian soldiers and they were returning from the dream sound dead under our windows m hamel stood up he m hamel was sitting now he stood up when he listened that musical instrument and the dreaming of prussian soldiers everything uh, the m hamel stood up very tall in his chair i never saw him um, look so tall and here he was uh, stating that i have never observed because uh, he was sitting on that chair and suddenly he stood up but Uh, motionless this type of person if there is no motion something he was too much nervous pale face there was no charm on his face so like that here the person and never saw him look so tall and because of that here when somebody is just standing with no any motion and too much nervous mood then we can observe or we can say that look so tall and then m hamel started speaking my friends said he i i but something choked him i could not go on so yet uh, my friends he said i i but something choked him and he could not go on so here uh, he was not able to speak like that here a message we can understand he could not go on then he turned to the blackboard took a piece of chalk and bearing on with all his might uh, he wrote as large as he could we will our friends so here uh, he was not able to speak so something he would do because his face was pale he was too much nervous so uh, he had written with very bold size on the blackboard and what was the message and that message was vive la france vive la france means long live france then he stopped and leaned his head against the wall means he had with respect he leaned his head he made a gesture to us with his hand school is dismissed you may go he was unable to speak because here we can observe that is uh, something choked in means his voice also choked he was unable to see because of the emotions emotions will when you are not when you are emotional you will not be able to speak so here uh, this type of thing we can observe so here uh, at the end the impact it is and uh, hand he was too much emotional and he was not able but finally he had given the message and that message is important we will love france and that is long live france uh, means when you will preserve your language your mother tongue that is french language you will definitely come out from that and that was the final message means you love your language so here long live france indirectly that message very important message it was given by the so here uh, we have discussed uh, all the things and then we will discuss some questions in that think as you read questions uh, page number 7 what was france expected to be prepared with for school that day so here uh, answer is simple that is uh, participles in the french language then what did france notice 
that was unusual about the school that day. So here, every time there was a bustle, hustle and bustle uh, in that uh, school, especially children's. Uh, some children they would be out. They may not sit in the class, and villagers especially. Means there was a silence like a Sunday. Then what was the new thing here? The costume of the hen hamel. It was also special. He used to wear that in special uh, days or the weekend inspection or such type of days he used to wear. Villagers they were also means back benches also it was filled with the villagers and everyone they were uh, sitting very quiet. So here we can observe that. Unusual thing that you can explain with more examples. What had been put up on the bulletin board, and what was the uh, put up on the bulletin board? That was the order, and what was that order? It was clearly uh, mentioned that um, the order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. And the new master comes tomorrow. This is your last translation. Through this, uh, we can understand that what was the order written on that bulletin board. <coughs> Here, uh, page number seven four. Page number eight. Think as you read questions. In that, what changes did the order from Berlin cause in school that day? So here, what was the change? Uh, here, change was the villagers were there. Every means all the students they were inside. Then third thing we can here uh, give that is everyone uh, they were listening very carefully. And some representatives here, uh, former mayor, uh, former postmaster, old house, uh, and other also villagers were there. And that was the change. We can observe that everyone uh, they were there for uh, two reasons, especially the villagers, that they have not paid attention to the uh, education, especially. So they were there to respect. One thing that is the M Hamel's uh, 40 years uh, faithful uh, service also, and the second thing that uh, their respect for the uh, country also. So here uh, two three things we can observe that everyone they were uh, involved and they were thinking about their own language and how to guard safeguard their own language. They were. Intent means there was intensity in everyone that was also here focused. Then second <coughs> question: How did uh, France feeling about M Hamel High School change? So here about M Hamel first we will discuss. Uh, he was thinking about M Hamel that he was very strict teacher uh, and he used to. Uh, means punish. So like that here, that image it was there in the mind of uh, France. But when last day, his last lesson, he was uh, explaining that M. Hamel, whatever he was teaching, um, it was so easy to understand, and M. Hamel was teaching with too much passion also. So means here uh, we can understand that when. You will observe that your <coughs> teacher, uh, they are uh, teaching you uh, so many things. But when the stage will come, especially the retirement stage, or uh, sometimes you can observe that due to some reasons, uh, teacher has to leave the school. That time, uh, that function, especially we are uh, every time experiencing 10th and 12th standard. Students, uh, their best wishes programs or send of uh, ceremony. That time, uh, students they are sharing so many things, and then we also sometimes realize that so many things they are uh, thinking about us 
and we have uh, sometimes we may not observe that aspect of our own personality but most of the time they are also observing uh, different approach and that approach it is understanding and so many things we can understand so here uh, franz was also uh, thinking about the same and he was thinking i have not learned so many things uh, so i have and what is the now situation and that or whatever the uh, thing here he was uh, replied that what the thunder clap is words there to me so like that when we are observing uh, then next step and uh, here about m hamel and school so and about the school here he was thinking about the school school atmosphere uh, and especially the uh, sincerity so here uh, he was started thinking about the own also uh, thinking means he was not sincere so here uh, some references uh, i will give for that here he was mentioning that uh, i was uh, for not learning means here how sorry i was for not learning my lessons for seeking birds eggs and going and sliding on the star so here uh, he was also referring that and he was also himself uh, in one way that he was also blaming that i have also not paid attention uh, so here the atmosphere also changed he was also thinking in that manner then uh, understanding the text in that the people in this story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them what shows you this uh, why does this happen so here uh, when you will understand that your own language it will be taken away suppose you think example of our own marathi language if somebody would come and they would say that your language uh, would be banned from tomorrow so then everybody will come together everybody will uh, think that no we have to protest we have to say god our language and then language teachers so everyone they will be united means villagers students all politicians everyone they will be together and that is the thing here the people uh, in the story suddenly realize how precious their language is to them what shows you this Uh, why does this happen and what shows you that they were not that much sincere about their own language so this is, means they used to send their children for the uh, work means like a child labor a farm or some factories to earn something means for the uh, survival they used to think about only for the survival but there was uh, no <coughs> more attention or the proper approach or attitude towards the education so here it was also uh, clearly mentioned in page number 5 that why the old men in the village were sitting there in the back of the room it was because they were sorry to that they had not gone to the school more so here uh, this reference also we can give and why does this happen and why does this happen means when all that means when you are free to uh, write you are free to speak your own language but when somebody would ban that then only you will realize the importance of your own language and how precious your own language because language it is not only the thing that language is a culture language is your identity language is your hallmark language is your image language is the legacy language is also the part of the tradition uh, so many ethics culture everything it is involved in the language and language is that the backbone of everything so here uh, when somebody would take out that right to speak right to uh, write or means freedom of expression when it will be taken away suddenly you will realize that the importance of your own language so you can add your own points so franz thinks uh, will will they make them sing in german even the pigeons what could this mean so here uh, 
you can think that one thing here uh, means linguistic chauvinism linguistic chauvinism in a sense that uh, students when you are imposing something on other then your ideas your own thing so here also linguistic means language german german language will be imposed on the frenchman so that french language it will be taken away so they will not be able to speak they will not be able to write their own language in their own country and they have to pretend to be like a frenchman so here the small boy started thinking about the pigeon also from next day pigeons will also not be able to listen french language so will they cook or will they see also in the german so like that here would it be also pressurized they would also impose so like that there was a impact on the mind of little child you can interpret in different way also here there could be more than one answer it is stated then talking about the text in that when a people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to their language uh, it is as if they had the key to their prison we have already discussed the question but then also i will hear uh, unity is important and that when you are thinking about your own language with proper way then when you will be united when you are together unity in diversity so many different different uh, caste creed here religion so many people would be there but if they would be together with the language then what will happen that there one only agenda there will be in their mind that is to save their nation to save their own language means to save their nation because all traditions uh, their rituals festivals literature so many things it is involved in the language and it is not only one year two year because it is the legacy of so many years generation by generation their forefathers parents everyone uh, they have also experienced and enjoyed uh, speaking their own language and the freedom of language so many things so here when they will come together using that key key is the language when they will preserve their own language then when they will safeguard their own language then only it is possible that they can fight against the enemy and then they will come out from that and that would be the key to come out from the prison so in that way here uh, it is expressed uh, then other uh, some questions are there in that linguistic chauvinism uh, just now i have explained chauvinism means to input in linguistic chauvinism uh, that is to uh, impose our own language on others so here the german language was imposed on the uh, frenchman now they are just they are pretend they would just pretend that they are frenchman but uh, they have to write they have to learn only german they will not be able to speak their own language that is french they will not be able to write uh, in their own language and that is linguistic chauvinism and here what happened to linguistic minorities uh, in the in a state how do you think uh, they can keep their um, language alive for example so here uh, some examples are given punjab um, punjabis in bangalore tamilis uh, tamilians in mumbai um, or Karnataka's in Delhi or Gujarat's in Kolkata. So here uh, we in Maharashtra especially our own Marathi speakers they are in the Karnataka and always there is such type of uh, conflicts arise and every time um, there is means there are so many villages boundary lines that they are suffering too much uh, in the Karnataka. So that also here uh, now in my marathi speakers in karnataka boundary level that, that villages they are in the minority because their kannada language they are in the majority so here those who are in the linguistic minority what whatever their problems so you can write minimum 10 to 15 points that what are the pressure means they will not be able to perform uh, their 
own language especially uh, writing speaking or uh, festivals also so many restrictions as per that state uh, or some political parties there also agenda sometime uh, and uh, some ridiculous politics also you can also observe in that uh, sometime uh, other means those who are uh, not means uh, non native of that area um, what they will say that you have to go back to your own you are not allowed to speak you are not allowed to use that language on the uh, holdings also most of the time it would be also banned so like that so many things here you can observe in maharashtra also that those who are from other states uh, suppose means here uh, english language or other hindi language also uh, most of the time some uh, political parties they are also saying that and you have to uh, use all the things at least uh, everything should be there in the mother tongue so here we can observe that such type of things are there in every state and here are some examples so you find out uh, so many things concerned with that and you can add your own points so here i hope uh, that second question here uh, in that how do you think they can keep their language alive so here we have to take the example or uh, here we have to take you know, one important thing here that is about the uh, constitution we have to take the help of the constitution in that uh, freedom of expression freedom of writing freedom of speech everything it is given by the constitution so here Uh, means being a democratic country you know, we have to convince everyone that they are also part of our state now they are living here and uh, there is no such type of thing that we can migrate from one place to another place uh, and there suppose we are living more than 100 or uh, and suppose that community linguistic minorities uh, then it is also thing that we can understand we are not Uh, thinking about the jealousy we are not thinking about only one language because here unity in diversity that concepts we have to keep and uh, as a government also state government or central government they should also uh, give that liberty they should also uh, specially give those means the linguistic minority their rights are also mentioned so here there are some laws are also there so suppose somebody is imposing Uh, or harassing them then we can take the help of the law also but the thing is you know, we have to write so many things or especially the literature in your own language suppose your language even though it is a minor in the country but when you will write so many things in your language and when others will translate and throughout the world your literature in that language it will be famous and i hope that you will understand this uh, linguistic minority concept uh, you can search more in this uh, question will be asked for article writing also so you can prepare so i hope that you have understood this and there if there will be question uh, you can uh, raise so be safe and be healthy be happy thank you now they are just they are pretend they would just pretend that they are frenchmen but uh, they have to write they have to learn only german they will not be able to speak their own language that is french they will not be able to write uh, in their own language and that is linguistic chauvinism and here what happened to linguistic minorities uh, in the in a state how do you think uh, they can keep their language or life for example so here uh, some examples are given punjab mm, punjabis in bangalore tamilis uh, tamilians in mumbai or kannad kannadigas in delhi or gujarat in kolkata so here uh, we in maharashtra specially our own marathi speakers they are in the karnataka and always there is such type of uh, conflicts 
arise and every time there is means there are so many villages boundary lines that they are suffering too much uh, in the karnataka so that also here uh, now in my marathi speakers in karnataka boundary level that villages they are in the minority because their kannada language they are in the majority so here those who are in the linguistic minority what whatever their problems so you can write minimum 10 to 15 points that what are the pressure means they will not be able to perform uh, their own language uh, especially uh, writing speaking or uh, festivals also so many restrictions as per that state uh, or some political parties there also agenda sometime and uh, some ridiculous politics also you can also observe in that uh, sometime uh, other means those who are uh, not means uh, non native of that area um, what they will say that you have to go back to your own you are not allowed to speak you are not allowed to use that language on the uh, holdings also most of the time it would be also banned so like that so many things here you can observe in maharashtra also that those who are from other states uh, suppose means here uh, english language or other hindi language also uh, most of the time some uh, political parties they are also saying that you have to uh, use all the things at least uh, everything should be there in the mother tongue so here we can observe that such type of things are there in every state and here are some examples so you find out uh, so many things concerned with that and you can add your own points so here i hope uh, that the second question here uh, in that how do you think they can keep their language alive so here we have to take the example or uh, here we have to take one important thing here that is about the uh, constitution we have to take the help of the constitution in that uh, freedom of expression freedom of writing freedom of speech everything it is given by the constitution so here uh, means being a democratic country you know, we have to convince everyone that they are also part of our state now they are living here and uh, there is no such type of thing that we can migrate from one place to another place uh, and there suppose we are living more than 100 or uh, and suppose that community linguistic minorities uh, then it is also thing that we can understand we are not uh, thinking about the jealousy we are not thinking about only one language because here unity in diversity that concepts we have to keep and uh, as a government also state government or central government they should also uh, give that liberty they should also uh, specially give those means the linguistic minority their rights are also mentioned so here there are some laws are also there so suppose somebody is imposing uh, or harassing them then we can take the help of the law also but the thing is this Yeah, we have to write so many things or especially the literature in your own language suppose your language even though it is a minor in the country but when you will write so many things in your language and when others will translate and throughout the world your literature in that language it will be famous and i hope that you will understand this uh, linguistic minority concept uh, you can search more in this Uh, question will be asked for article writing also so you can prepare so i hope that you have understood this and there if there would be question uh, you can uh, raise so be safe and be healthy